So now let's take a look at how this tablet performs in a few of the most popular digital painting applications. So we looked at this a little bit before, but here's Adobe Photoshop. I can just do a quick doodle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little sketch here of a face. But you can draw really loosely or you can draw really fluidly. If you wanna do like more inking style, you can do that or you can do it more sketchy. And it also kind of depends on the brushes that you pick. If you pick brushes that look more like ink, then your lines are gonna look more like ink, but you could also pick brushes that look like watercolor or oil paint, and you're gonna get more of an effect that looks like a painting. And the cool thing about digital art is that you can mix all different kinds of media together. So you could mix acrylics with oil and oil with watercolor and so on. So I can doodle little things here if I want. I could add layers if I want to add layers of color to this piece. I can control the order of the layers if I want to stack layers on top of each other. I can do that. And then I can move the different layers around. So there's a lot of different things you could do with this tablet. If you wanted to use it just for annotating, you could write your name. You could point to things. You could use this for educational purposes in a classroom or in an office. You could use it to sign PDFs and different documents. Here is my favorite digital painting program and that is Corel Painter. This is Corel Painter 2016. And you can see that I'm using a brush now that's kind of a smooth, almost oily palette knife. And I can make some very interesting effects that kind of blend with each other. If I take other colors and I blend in here, you can see it looks very natural, like real paint. You can pick white and put some of that in and blend it. You can take some dark and blend that in. So it really kind of depends on which tools you use. This is not specifically just for drawing pencil drawings or for drawing ink drawings. Even though it looks like a pen or a pencil, this is actually a paintbrush and a lot of other different kinds of tools. So all it really is is just a way to take the input from your hand put it into the computer, and then the digital art software is really where you make the art. This is another one of my favorites called ArtRage. This is ArtRage 4, and it's one of the more affordable paid digital painting software programs. And the cool thing about this one is it has a nice paint thickness effect. And it's also very simple. So you can see here, my paint is nice and thick, and I can add to that. It looks very realistic. I can even go in with my blenders and I can blend this up. I can add different canvas textures. You can see that if I smudge this to the end of the canvas, it kind of blends into the paper texture. It's a really cool program. And then of course, since this is a digital, you can also draw with pencil on top of your oil. And if you wanted to put watercolor on top of that, you could select some watercolor and you could paint in your watercolor. So there's really no limitations to what you can do digitally. You can also use this tablet to draw vector art, and vector art is a very interesting art form because it's resolution independent, so even if you draw it small, if you scale it up really big, it's always going to look nice and crisp and clean. So this is Adobe Illustrator, and I'm using the blob brush tool. And you can see, just like in the other programs, I have pen pressure with this particular brush, and I can draw anything I want. But then when I zoom into it, I can zoom into this forever and it's always going to look nice and clean and crisp. And if I wanted to, I can also select areas of this and I can easily change the color to something else or I can modify different points. If I want to select an individual point and move it around and readjust it. And you can see all those points there. Those are different points that I can move around. You could kind of think of this like silly putty or rubber or something that you can stretch and bend and sculpt. And speaking of sculpting, you can also sculpt digitally. So this is a free online program called SculptGL. It's just a website that you go to. And if your computer supports 3D, then you can also use your Wacom tablet to go in here and sculpt. So if I paint, you can see that it's like magic. I can actually sculpt this ball. If I drag on the outside, I can move around the view of it. And I can add clay. If I go over here and click negative, then I can push in and dent it in, like so. So you can really do a lot of different things with this tablet. It's a really cool device. At this point, you should have a pretty good idea of how this thing works and how to get it set up. 
If you do have any other questions, if they're technical questions like your tablet's broken or it's not working, please don't contact me personally because Wacom actually has tech support that is all around the world and they can help you get this tablet working, they can replace your tablet, they can answer any question. There's actually a lot of questions that can be answered on Wacom's website. Now you can also watch some of my other videos about Wacom tablets and reviews. If you go to my website, aaronrutten.com products, I have a chart that compares all the different models of this tablet. So as much as I wanna be helpful, I wanna kind of rule out some of these commonly asked questions that I've been getting in my older videos that people ask all the time. So please contact Wacom before you contact me. And if there's a question that Wacom can't answer, or if it's a question that's more about how to draw digitally or how to use these different applications, I'd be glad to help you with that. So anyways, if you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, you can subscribe to watch a ton of videos on how to actually use this tablet. So you'll definitely want to check that out if you're interested in learning how to use this thing to make artwork. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.